And there's a lot of members, obviously, Lindsey Farrell's a big part of what's here today, where we are, where we are today. And that perseverance paid off big time. It was never, ever going to happen, but Carter showed up, and it just completely changed the game for us. <laughs> because we really wouldn't be here without you, Carter. Thank you. She's been in Congress for many, many years, but she is the real deal because she understands what we do. In the long run, if you're taking care of people when they're not too sick, they have a couple of ailments, look how much money you save later on. So I'm thrilled to see this classy, elegant, beautiful building and know the wonderful people who work here are really here because you understand the importance of community health centers. Pleased to see members of the administration here and that they sprung some of the money that we worked so hard to put in the budget. Yes. Yes. I want to congratulate you on this excellent, excellent job that you did here. It's really beautiful. You were saying before that folks don't have much of a future in front of them. Because of what you do here, they have a much healthier future. Their kids have a much healthier future. Sleepy Hollow is an immigrant village. Uh, we've always been, or at least for the last 125 years or so. Almost 10% of the village lives below the poverty line. You know, this is Westchester County. It's really wealthy. Sleepy Hollow is not. Uh, it is our median income compared to our neighbor in Terrytown is $40,000 um, a year less. Some place like this is just incredible for us. This is so cool because somebody coming in here who can't afford health care is going to come in here and look at it and say, wow, somebody really cares about me. I get the same kind of a facility, same kind of health care that rich people get. My first real foray into public service office was on the board of the Open Door, starting in, I think, 1999, yeah. 2005. And what I saw was an incredible organization, and Lindsay, I think, had just become president. Yeah. <laughs> and Open Door was struggling at that point. And Lindsay, with her team, turned it around, and to see this facility is really remarkable. We're looking in the eyes of our family medicine residents, many of whom are here today, and their, their mentors and teachers, the attendings here, uh, the staff of this facility, obviously, in addition to Lindsay, make this a very, very special place. When I first came and joined the residency program, this was not here. <laughs> the thought of it was here. <laughs> and we have worked towards this goal until I've become the medical director of the same site that I trained in. Open Door serves all the community. People in need know they can come here for the very best medical and dental care. Hooray for Open Door. We are so thrilled to be here after so many years of preparation. The hurdles were quite high to get into this facility, but indeed we did it. We think we have made significant improvements in this corner of Sleepy Hollow. And we also purchased the uh, building next door that was occupied by Dominic's limousine. And we made significant improvements there and now have lots of parking spaces for not only our staff, but also for our patients. So we are thrilled to be in this building. We welcome everyone um, in need to come in for some care. We have a wonderful dental program, as well as a, a fantastic medicine program. Um, and we're in partnership with Phelps Family Medicine Residency Program. Welcome, we're thrilled to be here.